Hi everyone, I'm Leah, here's Mohamed, and we're going to introduce you to Wikidata today. Yes, hi everyone. Um, so in the course of the talk, if you do have a question, just feel free to ask them in the chat, and then we are going to try and answer them at the end of the talk. Yes, so let's dive straight in. What is Wikidata? Uh, Wikidata is a free knowledge base that is based on facts and references that anyone can edit and reuse. Um, it is part of the Wikimedia project, and like all of its sister open projects, Wikidata is multilingual and has no language barriers. Um, data in Wikidata is released under CC0 license. That means Wikidata's data is in the public domain, and it has no exclusive intellectual property rights that is applied to it. Um, Wikidata is not a primary source of information. It only aggregates or collects structured data that is already available, some of which are linked to other databases. So it is not meant to be a place for original research. Um, Wikidata is made for humans and machines and is available for everyone to use, whether on other Wikimedia projects or outside of it. Next slide. So what is in Wikidata? Wikidata was launched some eight years ago and was um, originally created to solve the problem of unstructuredness in the plain text format that information in Wikipedia is rendered in, and also to provide a central storage location where all of the different language Wikipedias can connect and talk to each other. Today, Wikidata has since outgrown its intended purpose and has become so big and successful that um, it is not only you know, the most edited Wikimedia projects, but Wikidata's data is now used more outside of the Wikimedia projects than within it. There are more than 25,000 active editors. That means people who make at least one edit every month. Um, Wikidata is used across 800 plus Wikimedia projects in more than 300 languages. And it's interesting to note that um, the largest proportion of Wikidata items are in the category of scholarly items, comprising about 30% of the whole. Next slide. So far, um, people and bots have made more than 1.3 billion edits to Wikidata and created more than 91 million items. This map you see here is a visual impression of geolocated items currently existing on Wikidata. So the bright uh, areas are items that have a coordinate location property added as a statement. Next slide. So Wikidata has a vision. And what is this vision? Wikidata's vision is to give more people more access to more knowledge. So Wikidata gives access to information regardless of the language that people speak. Um, because Wikidata is multilingual, it expects translations of so-called KO numbers into different languages. And in so doing, Wikidata helps us support the smaller Wikimedia projects better, you know, by helping them from, uh, to benefit from all of the work that the bigger projects are doing. And applications and projects outside of media are also able to benefit from the rich data sets in Wikidata. So in a nutshell, Wikidata can be thought of as an online repository of structured data that anyone can edit and reuse. Next slide. Okay, now how is Wikidata connected to Wikipedia and to the other Wikimedia projects? Among other things, Wikidata can assist sister projects with more easily maintainable info boxes. So the table at the right corner, on this article on Wikipedia is called an info box, which I'm sure you've seen before. Um, Wikidata is able to retrieve content from Wikidata into those info boxes. And for smaller language Wikipedias like, you know, um, Dagbani Wikipedia or Welsh Wikipedia, that, rev that readily leverages Wikidata to see their content. And this is helpful because it's, it helps to reduce editing workload for volunteers. Next slide. 
So what should you expect to see on a typical Wikidata item? Um, Wikidata expresses relationships in the form of triples that use items starting with Q and property starting with P. Okay, and the item will typically be made up of at least one statement. So in this example you see on the screen, we have two statements about an entity called Douglas Adams. The first statement, Douglas Adams, was educated at P69 St. John's College. What this means is that this statement is qualified by further properties. That is the academic major, the academic degree, his start time, and then the end time. And qualifiers add more meaning to statements. So Wikidata records not just statements, but also their sources. And as you can see here, this helps us um, to reflect the notion of verifiability on the project. So um, that statement, Douglas Adams was educated at St. John's College, has two open references that points to the source of that information. And the second statement, Douglas Adams, Q42, was educated at P69, Brentwood School, only has the qualifier start time and end time and it has no references. So a single statement consists of a property that is made up of a value with or without a reference or with or without uh, qualifiers. Next slide. Um, so a typical Wikidata item looks like this, and you can edit by clicking on the edit button. It has this pen symbol with edit next to it. As you can see, each item has a unique ID that is KO, followed by some number. In this case, the item Douglas Adams has a KO ID of KO42. And when you look at the top, there's a 10 box. Um, we call them we call it the 10 box at the top of um, at the top that contains the label in different languages. A description of the items that is more of a short phrase telling us what the item represents. It says here in English that Douglas Adams is an English writer and humorist. Then there's the alias next to the description, which aside from the label, tells us what the item could also be known by here. Next slide. So um, creating a new item is as simple as going to any page on Wikidata and clicking on create a new item. And um, once you click on create a new item, you get to fill in the form that is asking for a label, description, and an alias. And QIDs are assigned automatically. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide, please. All right, so there are tools that allow us to edit Wikidata more efficiently and make bulk edits to Wikidata, such as um, quick statements and open refine. Um, please go to the previous slide. Okay, yeah. Right, so yeah, um, quick statements and open refine allow us to make automated edits and changes to Wikidata. Um, other tools are available that allow us to visualize Wikidata as data. Some of them enhances the user interface of Wikidata, and these could include scripts that editors can install, or they could be gadgets that may be enabled in their preferences settings. Next slide. All right. Okay. So, um, so far, Mohammed told you about um, how we describe concepts in Wikidata, and that's what we've been doing for the first years of the project. But um, in 2018, we also started storing a new type of um, information in Wikidata, which is lexicographical data. 
which is basically information about words and phrases in all kinds of languages. And um, so you see um, on the left um, the data model that is a bit complex, and that's why I'm not going to get too much into details now, but we can talk about this later. And you can see an example on the right where we basically describe the word uh, Luftballon in, in German, and we indicate the language, the lexical category, and all kind of informations that are not about the object anymore, but actually about the word and how it's composed of two words, as um, we like to do in German, and things like this. Um, so again, um, if you want to know more about this, you can have a look at lexicographical data in Wikidata, or um, we can talk about it together later in the questions, for example. So Wikidata doesn't come alone. It comes with a bunch of tools that have been, some of them have been developed by the development team of Wikidata. Some of them have been developed by the community themselves um, in order to do things more efficiently. That can be, for example, um, adding data. And some of the tools have already been mentioned by Mohammed. That can also be matching data with other databases, querying the data, reusing the data. There are also a bunch of tools that are about um, uh, watching the data and watching its quality, watching what edits have been done recently, and so on. And you can find the page that is called Wikidata Tools on Wikidata to discover uh, plenty of these tools. And you can, of course, create your own. So we mentioned that the goal of Wikidata is to be reused by everyone, but you may wonder who's actually reusing the data. Well, the first reusers of Wikidata's data is actually the Wikidata community itself, the Wikidata editors, um, because all of these items are connected. Um, so um, one item can be linked from another, the content of one item can be reused on one other, and so on. The Wikimedia project, such as Wikipedia, but not only Wikimedia Commons, Wikisource, almost all of the Wikimedia project at that point reuse part of the data that is coming from Wikidata. And then we have uh, companies um, from the biggest one to, um, to the small ones, um, because the data is um, in CC0, everyone can just reuse the content that they need. We have, of course, public institutions such as museums, libraries, and so on. Um, we also have journalists and, uh, for example, data journalists. We have scientists and researchers and um, probably much more. And the thing is that we don't necessarily know who's reusing the data because it's here in the open. But there are probably many usages that uh, we don't even imagine. So if you're reusing Wikidata or if you would like to use Wikidata data, let us know, because we are always interested to discover more. Now, the question is, how can one reuse um, Wikidata? I'm going to present very quickly one of the most popular way to query the data. I'm not going to get into details right now, because there will actually be a workshop um, at the conference um, in two days, on, on day three, um, about the query service. So I'm going to let you go there and discover more about how to use it. The query service is basically a Sparkle endpoint, Sparkle being a query language, where you can um, basically ask questions to Wikidata and get lists or visualizations as results. For example, here's the map of the airports of the world, um, name after the person, and the color of the dot um, it represent the gender of the person. Or you can make a list of um, country flags that are including a sun, because if the data is properly modeled in Wikidata, you're able to describe what are the different elements that compose um, a country flag. Or you can have this uh, bubble chart with the uh, occupation of accused witches, because why not? That's the kind of data we have in Wikidata. Now, there are other ways, of course, to query the data. I'm not going to get into details right now, um, but if you want to talk more about this, you can, for example, um, join the Wikidata meetups that are going to happen tomorrow. We have dumps of the data, uh, where you can download part of or all of the data in a file. We have a bunch of APIs to access the data directly from your program. 
And on a Wikimedia project specifically, um, the community developed a bunch of uh, templates that are using Wikidata's data um, using Lua. And now for something a bit different, Wikibase. You may have heard of it and you may even have wondered, OK, what's the difference uh, between Wikibase and Wikidata? Well, Wikibase is basically the software powering Wikidata and more precisely, the MediaWiki extension that is turning MediaWiki um, into a database. And so Wikibase was started to power Wikidata, but it also started developing on its own. Wikidata is still for now the biggest existing Wikibase instance, um, but people can also install um, Wikibase um, directly on their server and basically create their own little personal or public um, Wikidata. And um, the development is still ongoing. There are all kind of super exciting features coming up soon. And for example, the ability to connect better um, Wikidata and um, your own um, instance of Wikibase, for example, to be able to reuse data that is already in Wikidata and to connect it to the data that you have in your own Wikibase. So if you're interested in Wikidata, if you want to know more, there are a bunch of pages that you can find. There is a help portal. The project chat is the main discussion page on the wiki where you can interact with the other editors, the community. It's super important to get in touch with them if you want to get started with Wikidata. We also have a mailing list. We have a newsletter that is called Weekly Summary that you can find on wiki. But also, if you subscribe to the mailing list, you will also receive it. And then we have some accounts on the social media, on Twitter, there is a Facebook group, there is a Telegram um, that is linked from the project chat, and there is um, also an IRC channel. So you can basically find uh, people from the Wikidata community everywhere. So we are approaching the end of this session, um, but it's not done. We have more Wikidata-related sessions um, at the C3 uh, in the uh, Wikipacker. So for example, tomorrow you're gonna get an introduction to Wikidata specifically for journalists and especially data journalists. Then in the afternoon, we're gonna have two Wikidata meetups. The first one is gonna be um, in German. The second one is gonna be in English. So depending on your preferred language, you can attend one or the other or both. And on day three, um, as I mentioned before, uh, we're going to have a workshop to learn how to query uh, Wikidata as data with Sparkle. So feel free to have a look and check them also in the main uh, schedule of Wikipaka. Thank you very much for attending this session. These are our contact details if you want to um, to contact us and of course you can now ask uh, questions as we mentioned in the chat or with the um, hashtag and we will be very happy to answer all of your questions right now thank you for your input and uh, the overview about wikidata there has been a few question or questions already uh, answered by yol in the irc channel one was about the big dump of scholarly data and what scholarly data is and how this came to be in Wikidata. Um, but there is one more question from the chat right now. Um, Till asks, can I add new types of data that are not yet tracked in Wikidata? So I'm wondering what do you mean exactly by type of data? Maybe you can give a bit more details because that can mean a lot of things. Um, Wikidata, the data model of Wikidata is very flexible um, and it's absolutely not set in stone. Every, every week um, the community comes up with some new ways to describe things. Sometime we realize that there is an area of the world that we completely forgot to cover and then we create um, new properties um, to describe, for example, a certain type of, I don't know, of concept, a certain type of um, building or objects that we or philosophical concept that we um, didn't um, describe yet. So this is always um, in movement in, in action. When it comes to what we actually call data types, which is, for example, a string of text or a date 
or a picture. We have all kinds of data types like this. This is a bit more complicated. And overall, it's quite rare that we add a new data type. And it needs a strong like use case, uh, so we add that to the software. I hope that it answered your question. And um, if I didn't, feel free to ask again. Yeah, we've got a feedback. Uh, the example till till meant was there's a uh, there's a organi organization or a project called Parliament Watch uh, in Germany. Um, there was one talk earlier this day, uh, today where they tried to well track and and uh, scrape and analyze the parliamentary protocols. And one big issue they had was with uh, structural data about about all the members of Parliament and um, how they are organized and and uh, stuff like that. And um, well, I, I, if I remember correctly, there actually was a project uh, that tried to include the structural data of of members of parliament in Wikidata, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely. It's a wiki project that is called um, something politicians, uh, all politicians. I don't remember the exact name right now, but indeed, um, some people are already working on um, member of parliaments and like, political um, people um, in general. So uh, it's very likely that there is already a way to structure the data. The best way is to contact the people directly involved on this um, on this wiki project. Um, wiki projects, by the way, um, are pages where basically people who have a specific topic of interest gather and can discuss about the specific questions about this topic. Um, so um, have a look at this um, at this project about politics and um, yeah, try to see if um, if anything is missing. But generally, um, Wikidata definitely welcome information about um, about politicians, about member of parliaments, this kind of stuff. What we do not do, however, is store the full like documents. For example, in that case, the the reports or the documents that belongs elsewhere, maybe on Wikimedia Commons, for example, if it's possible, if the license allows it. Um, but on Wikidata, we'll be happy to store the metadata about them. All right, you'll you'll uh, just posted the link to the Wiki project. Every politician, so if anybody looks for every politician on uh, Wikidata, they will find the project. So basically, the bottom line is pretty much anything is possible in Wikidata, right? Yeah, thank you, Yul, and hi. Um, almost everything. So. On Wikidata, just like on Wikipedia, we still have some criteria to define what can get in Wikidata and what not, because um, we are aware that this knowledge base, it needs to stay quite general and it cannot contain absolutely everything. For example, the community decided a while ago that uh, they would not create one item for each human living or who used to live uh, on Earth. That's just not possible. Um, so there are some notability criteria that you can find um, in the help pages. And um, I would say that um, the level of like how fine-grained the data should be um, has to be discussed with the community. And the good thing about having Wikibase also available as a separate instance of Wikidata is that if some people want to work on a topic where they have some information that is very, very specific and would maybe not fit the scope of Wikidata, they can create their own Wikibase, and then they can connect the content with what is already in Wikidata. So all together in this Wikibase ecosystem, yes, pretty much everything is possible. Well, the future is certainly here, at least with Wikidata. Thank you again, Leah and Mohamed, for your insightful introduction to Wikidata. And uh, we're looking forward to more people joining you in your efforts. Thanks for your presentation. Thank you. See you soon.